This is the second reading of this week's Parsha, Parsha Emor. It's found in Leviticus chapter 21, verses 16 through 22, verse 16. It's 25 verses. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 16. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, saying, Any man among your offspring throughout, your, throughout their generations who has a defect shall not come near to offer up his God's food. For any man who has a, has a defect should not approach a blind man or a lame one or one with a sunken nose or with mismatching limbs or a man who has a broken leg or a broken arm or one who, with long eyebrows or a cataract or a commingling in his eye, dry lesions or weeping sores, or one with crushed testicles. Any man among Aaron, the Cohen's offspring, who has a defect, shall not draw near to offer up the Lord's fire offerings. There is a defect in him. He shall not draw near to offer up his God's food. His God's food from the most holy and from the holy ones he may eat. But he shall not come to the dividing curtain, nor shall he draw near to the altar, for he has a defect. And he shall not desecrate my holy things, for I am the Lord who sanctifies him. And Moses said, this to Aaron and his sons and to all of the children of Israel verse 25 chapter 25 verse chapter I'm sorry chapter 22 verse 1 and the Lord spoke to Moses saying speak to Aaron and to his sons that that they shall separate themselves from the holy sacrifices of the children of Israel which they sanctified to me so as not to desecrate my holy name, I am the Lord. Say to them, throughout your generations, any man among any of your offspring who, while his defilement is still upon him, comes near to the holy sacrifices that the children of Israel consecrate to the Lord, that soul shall be cut off from before me. I am the Lord. Any man whatsoever among Aaron's offspring, if he has a tzara'ath, or has had a discharge, he shall not eat of the holy sacrifices until he cleanses himself. And one who touches anyone who has become unclean by contact with a dead person or a man from whom semen issued or a man who touches any creeping creature through which he becomes unclean or person through whom he becomes unclean, whatever his uncleanness. The person who touches it shall remain unclean until evening, and he shall not eat from the holy things unless he has immersed his flesh in water. When the sun sets, he becomes clean, and afterwards he may eat of the holy things, for it is his food. And he shall not eat a carcass or anything that was torn, thereby becoming unclean through it. I am the Lord. They shall keep my charge and not bear a sin by eating it while unclean, and thereby die through it, since they will have desecrated it. I am the Lord who sanctifies them. No non Kohen may eat holy things. A Kohen's resident and his hireling may not eat holy thing. And if a Kohen acquires a person, an acquisition, through his money, he may eat of it, and those born in his house, they may eat of his food. And if a Kohen's daughter is married to a non-Kohen, she may no longer eat of the separated holy things. But if the Kohen's daughter becomes widowed or divorced, and she has no offspring, she may return to her father's household as in her youth. 
and eat of her father's food, but no non Kohen may eat of it. And if a man unintentionally eats what is holy, he shall add a fifth of it, a fifth of it to it, and give the Kohen the holy thing. And they shall not desecrate the holy things of the children of Israel, those that have set aside for the Lord, thereby bringing upon themselves to bear iniquity and guilt when they eat their holy things. For I am the Lord who sanctifies them.